Something big just happened in the world of robotics. Unitree has introduced something called the Embodied Avatar Platform, and it's easily one of the most significant breakthroughs we've seen this year. In simple terms, this system allows a humanoid robot to move exactly as a human does at full natural speed, in real time, with no video tricks or slow motion edits. That's not a small improvement. That's a complete redefinition of teleoperation. Hey guys, welcome to NextGen AI. For years, robot-controlled demos have looked smooth only because they were edited that way. Companies often slowed down operators or sped up footage to hide lag. But this time, what you see is what's actually happening. The G1 moves as fast as the human controlling it, with no delay, no waiting, no faked cuts. And that's why this moment matters more than most people realize. So what exactly is Unitree showing? It's a full-body teleoperation system that mirrors every single human movement. Head, arms, legs, torso, all tracked through a simple lightweight motion capture suit. When the operator walks, the robot walks. When they twist, kick, or bend, the G1 does the same instantly. There's no half-second pause, no slow motion lag, just fluid motion that feels alive. And that's the part most companies have never managed to solve, eliminating latency while keeping movement natural. Latency is what's always broken teleoperation. Even a small delay turns a robot into a clumsy puppet. Try reacting to a falling object with a half-second delay, you can't. Everything feels unnatural. That's why so many real-time robot demos you've seen online weren't actually real-time. They were edited to look perfect. Unitree, on the other hand, explicitly stated there's no speed up in their video. What you're seeing is live motion, human reflexes projected straight into a humanoid form. The difference becomes obvious when you look at what the G1 is doing. In the demo, the operator plays soccer while the robot mirrors every move, juggling, kicking, adjusting balance, all at real-world speed. Two G1S spar in a boxing sequence that looks less like choreography and more like an actual fight, complete with footwork and quick reactions. Then you see martial arts drills with a staff, each swing and pivot happening as naturally as a trained athlete's. These aren't cinematic rehearsals. They're raw teleoperated movements, recorded without any time distortion, and that's what makes them so powerful to watch. But Unitree didn't stop with athletic showcases. They also demonstrated how this tech translates into everyday tasks, things like cleaning tables, loading dishes, vacuuming, or putting items into a fridge. The G1 opens a trash bin with its leg while holding a can, tosses it in smoothly, and moves on to the next task, all at human pace. Would you trust a humanoid robot like this to clean your home or serve you food at full speed? That natural timing is everything. When a robot has lag, even small actions become awkward. But when it moves at real-world speed, it suddenly feels capable, useful, and efficient. Here's where the real genius comes in. Unitree isn't only creating a control system, they're creating a data engine. Every time an operator performs a task through the G1, every gesture, reaction, and timing pattern is recorded. That means each teleoperated session becomes a training dataset for future autonomous AI models. It's called Full Body Data Acquisition, and it's the bridge between remote control and full autonomy. Robots aren't just copying humans anymore, they're learning from them in motion at authentic speed. This is what sets Unitree apart from companies that only focus on demos. Slow data creates slow robots. If you record movements at half speed, you train AI to move sluggishly. But when you record natural human speed motion, the AI learns real-time dynamics, when to lift, when to balance, when to accelerate or stop. That's the kind of data that leads to robots capable of matching human rhythm and reaction in daily environments. The motion capture setup itself is surprisingly minimal, just straps and sensors. No bulky frames, no dozens of cameras surrounding the room. That simplicity lets the operator move freely, which in turn makes the robot's motion more fluid. And because the entire system is built around efficiency, it's also affordable. At roughly $16,000 for the G1, Unitree is targeting scalability, not just one-off research projects, but real deployment. 
Do you think robots learning directly from human movement will make them more useful or too powerful? Now think about why that matters economically. A robot that's fast but expensive is unsustainable. A robot that's affordable but too slow is useless. But a robot that can perform tasks at human speed, costs less than a small car, and gathers its own AI training data, that's a business model that can actually evolve in the real world. You can use teleoperated robots for productive work today, while they simultaneously gather the experience to operate autonomously tomorrow. That's immediate value and long-term payoff in the same system. Unitree's leadership has been repeating a simple message, robots that work, not just robots that look impressive. And this platform captures that idea perfectly. It's practical, it's scalable, and it delivers results at the pace the real world demands. No waiting years for future AI upgrades. This is usable technology right now. What also stands out is the transparency. Unitree doesn't rely on cinematic edits or flashy cuts. They show the full unedited footage with no video speed up stated clearly. That kind of honesty is rare in robotics, where marketing often hides the limitations. By revealing true, unfiltered performance, they're setting a new benchmark for credibility, one that other companies will now have to meet. The implications are enormous. If robots can finally operate at human speed, they can integrate into actual work environments, homes, factories, restaurants, hospitals, without slowing things down. Every industry that depends on timing and coordination suddenly becomes open to humanoid assistance. And this is just the beginning. Because once you combine real-time teleoperation with AI that learns from that data, you move toward a future where robots won't just follow humans, they'll start anticipating and cooperating with them naturally. So yes, the embodied avatar platform is much more than a flashy showcase. It's a proof of concept for a coming shift where human skill and AI intelligence merge through motion. And for the first time, we're watching that merge happen at full human speed. And this breakthrough doesn't exist in isolation. It's part of a much bigger ecosystem Unitree has been quietly building. The G1 and its embodied avatar system are just one piece of a broader vision that now includes the H2 and R1 humanoids, robots designed to push that same technology into new domains. The Unitree H2, revealed just months ago, is a larger, more powerful humanoid belt for industrial and service applications. It's equipped with stronger joint actuators, higher torque outputs, and an upgraded balance system that allows more dynamic movement, climbing, lifting, and performing heavy-duty tasks that go beyond what the G1 can handle. Think of it as the next evolutionary step, combining raw physical capability with the same teleoperation precision demonstrated in the G1. Once the embodied avatar platform expands to H2, you're talking about a robot that can operate at factory scale with human responsiveness. Then there's the R1, Unitree's lighter, more consumer-friendly humanoid aimed at education, assistance, and daily use environments. It carries the same design language as its larger siblings, but with simplified mechanics and a lower cost target, potentially bringing human speed robotics into schools, research labs, and even private homes. Together, the G1, H2, and R1 form a complete hierarchy data collected from human speed teleoperation today could soon be shared across this entire family of robots, accelerating the path toward autonomy for every model. That's not just innovation, that's infrastructure. Unitree isn't building isolated machines. They're building a connected robotic ecosystem ready to scale across industries and homes alike.